What's going on guys, it's Mike here, back with another video. All right guys, today we're gonna be wrapping the John boat. All right guys, so I wanted to make this video in case you guys have some John boats out there that you might be thinking of getting wrap done. So if uh, you decide on doing this, at least this will uh, kind of show you guys kind of the steps on how to get your boat wrapped and how to do it the right way to make that wrap last the longest. 14 foot John boat. You guys already know what the business is here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you some of the steps here, getting this sucker all wrapped up today. So stick around, let's wrap this boat. Yeah. All right guys, so some of the first things I've done here, which uh, is completely optional, is I painted these little side rails here because the style of wrap that I have, uh, it's gonna kind of finish it off just a little bit nicer. So I even went under here and basically just rattle canned the bottom of the boat here because uh, I'm trying to kill out some of that green. So just kind of taped it off. I didn't even spend any time sanding it down. I just used a, I want to say a Rust-Oleum um, satin black with the primer mixed in because the finish on the, the boat here is pretty rough and uh, the paint's actually sticking really nicely. So um, didn't do any sanding or anything like that. Just kind of lightly taped it off. But uh, got a little bit of dust on the inside. I'm not too worried about it because uh, as you guys already know, if you've seen a couple of my other videos, we're going to be decking this boat out pretty soon. I'm still kind of deciding if, uh, if I want to do like a full deck kind of, kind of thing here, or if I'm going to use aluminum or wood. So just, uh, still kind of weighing out what I want to do here as far as the decking on the John boat goes. But other than that, guys, that's kind of the prep work for, uh, the side rails. So keep that in mind, you know, you want to do your painting first, so you can kind of feather it down. Um, what I'm also going to do is. Once we get the wrap on here, we're just gonna be cutting right along this bottom line here. And then we're gonna take it all the way down to the edge here. So let me uh, show you guys some of the stuff you're gonna need for the wrap and go ahead and get started on it. So stick around. All right guys, so a couple of things that you're gonna need, which is an absolute must, is first and foremost, you're gonna need some 3M Primer 94. And what this does is, it uh, pretty much activates the adhesive a lot more stronger than what the actual wrap adhesive is gonna do. And you're gonna wanna put that all around these edges here. If you guys have any crazy grooves like this on most John boats, you're gonna have that. You're definitely gonna put a line completely along this whole edge here, one on the bottom edge, and then all the way around this whole line here. So we're gonna be doing that. So you definitely need 3M Primer 94. You can buy this online, probably get on Amazon. Second thing you're gonna need is edge sealer, 3950. And basically what this is, um, it's basically like a clear um, sealer. So all your hard edges, like around the sides, where your back of your transom is, uh, the bottom of the boat, um, you're not gonna need it in here because this is all gonna be wrapped. But this whole top edge here, you can uh, run that to kind of lock it in too. Or if you want, you can also use like a bead of silicone, but we're just gonna use the edge sealer for that. And then you're definitely gonna want to seal and prime all of these edges really, really generously along the front edge because that's where it's gonna take uh, the brunt of the water. So if you uh, don't do that, you're probably gonna get your uh, wrap peeling off probably on the first outing. So make sure you get your primer and definitely get your edge sealer. Third thing you're gonna need is some type of squeegee. You guys can uh, buy these online. We're gonna use a felted bumper one. It's got the little hard edge there, so you can kind of do some detail work if you have a bubble or like a little wrinkle, you can get that out. But definitely want something with a, uh, a felted bumper. Um, kind of helps the squeegee slide on top of the wrap a little bit better. So when you're going over edges like here, if you guys got uh, rivets or anything like that, it'll help you um, push that wrap down because you're gonna have to have something like this because you can't just lay it down with your hands. All right, last but not least, Gonna get yourself a little razor blade trim that sucker out you don't want to use like a box knife or anything these little ulfa blades you guys can pick these up from the uh hardware store or walmart or anything like that but these little ulfa blades perfect absolute must and the black blades are extremely sharp so i'd recommend getting some of those little carbon blades all right guys i'm gonna prime this boat up here and i've already wiped it down with um some soap and water and some rubbing alcohol Kind of get the surface prepped a little bit forgot to mention that step but you know obviously you're gonna need to 
wipe it down because uh, essentially you're just going to be applying a big old sticker to the side of your boat here but it's already pretty clean it's about as clean as it can get now we're going to hit it with a little bit of that primer all right so we're going to want to put a nice thick line of primer along the edges and we're definitely going to want to do this edge right here because this primer is going to really really activate that glue and it's going to allow it to um, pretty much make a a lot more stickier bond with the surface and your wrap so gonna do this for the whole boat here and then uh, probably gonna get the wrap out and we'll talk a little bit about that and the material that we're gonna use and start going uh, getting it stuck on All right, guys, just got the uh, primer all put on there. I put it on really, really thick because I really want this wrap to hold, especially since it's going to be completely submerged. Normally on boats, you don't want to go below that bottom, like little last little ridge line. At least that's what 3M says. And you can go as far as you want, but uh, it's going to take a pretty much a pretty hard beating with that water constantly splashing up against it. So I'm using a ton of this stuff. Um, you know, if you're doing like a car or something, you wouldn't do that much primer, but um, for a boat, you definitely want to use a lot. All right guys, so we just got the boat all primed up. We're gonna let that dry for a couple minutes. You don't wanna put your wrap on while that stuff is wet because um, it won't activate and basically your wrap's gonna have like this filmy kind of liquidy uh, texture to it and it won't dry up at all. So um, make sure that primer dries and we're gonna go ahead and talk about the wrap material here. So there's a, a couple of different brands you can choose. Um, this is a printed design, so we went ahead and went with the 3M Control Tac IJ180 CV3. That's like one of the best um, wrap vinyls you can use in the industry. Um, there's a lot of different kinds, but IJ180 CV3, and I can put that down in the description below. What I used is um, pretty much the best, uh, in my opinion, for boats. And we went with a gloss over laminate. Now, if you guys are not doing a printed design and let's say you want to do like a color change you can use like a 3m 2080 or you know like an avery denison film um, avery and 3m are going to be your two top brands for vinyl there's a, a lot of different vinyl brands out there but those are the best two just remember in the vinyl world you get what you pay for so if you skimp on your vinyl it's probably not going to have the same durability or the same type of stickiness to it so if uh you know you go with the cheaper vinyl you're probably not going to be too happy with it and last thing you want to do is get your whole boat prepped like this spend a you know a few hundred bucks on getting some cheap vinyl material and then have it fall off on the lake so make sure you get some good material or uh, if you are sourcing sourcing out a wrap shop to do the work just uh, ask some questions like that find out what they're using and uh, you know if it sounds too good to be true it probably is so just remember you get what you pay for so keep that in mind all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna lay this whole design out right across the side here. Probably gonna tape it up, kind of get a game plan, show you guys uh, what the wrap's gonna look like here. Uh, obviously, since it's aluminum, uh, magnets aren't gonna stick to it. So if you guys are wrapping like a uh, fiberglass boat, you know, or an aluminum boat or anything like that, you're gonna need some tape. So um, we're gonna get this thing taped up here and kind of go through the process of getting this bad boy wrapped up. All right, guys, another thing here is I like using this green tape really really sticky um better than just regular old masking tape it's the frog tape brand but you know you can do whatever tape you want but green tape works really really good all right guys so i got the whole wrap here taped up pretty cool it's like a reptilian style design here with uh, some scratches busting through that sheet metal. <laughs> it got some cool little bullet holes. Why not, right? And the uh, guys over here at Raptor Wrap and Sign in Rogers, Arkansas were cool enough to uh, provide me with this sick wrap. So got it all taped up. We're just gonna kind of feel around a little bit, make sure nothing's cut off. Um, sometimes the designs do have like some, uh, you know, purposely cut off areas, but um, for this one, main key point is 
we don't want to lose that eye, so we're just going to make sure that the wrap's in the right spot before we start sticking it down. I'm going to pull that backer paper off, and we're going to start applying it. All right, guys, so I moved it up a little bit. I like where it's sitting now. We're going to go ahead and just pull that backer paper off, get it pulled in place. And I also did forget, you guys are also going to need some type of heating element, whether it's a heat gun or a torch. So I'm going to go ahead and get my torch out, show you which one I like to use. Because uh, you're definitely going to want to do some post heating here. And on these recesses, these little parts that were had those little triangular grooves in there, you're going to want to be able to heat that up so you can get that vinyl nice and pressed in there. Um, because if you try to cold roll it, it's just going to pop out. So make sure you guys get yourself a heat gun or some type of torch. So. All right, guys. So just a regular torch here. Um, you can use the blue cans or the green campy cans. doesn't matter. Uh, just the yellow ones burn a lot hotter, so I wouldn't recommend using the uh, yellow propane cans But for this one, we're just gonna use the blue can and just a regular old Little $40 torch you can pick up at like Walmart or something. All right guys So the next part is pulling off that backer paper. You can do it by yourself. It's a lot harder But um, if you have somebody else with you that can help you out with this part, it's gonna make this uh, process a lot faster um, Because then you can essentially just pull the whole backer off and then just float the panel with the partner. So that's what we're gonna do here. So check it out. All right guys, so we got the backer off. The wrap is just kind of floating on there. Just gonna squeegee it down with your little felt sided bumper little card and just kind of keep trucking so yep okay. All right guys, so if you notice, I kind of got that top edge kind of tacked down with the little uh, bumper side of my card. Um, this one has a lot of like little rivets and little screw indentions, so just kind of be mindful when you're going over that stuff. You just kind of want to glide over them. You don't want to uh, chuck them in just right now because that's what we're gonna use the heat for. So just be careful so you don't rip through your wrap. All right, guys, give you kind of a close up here. So I've got this whole complete ridge pretty much wrapped in nice and solid. Now what I wanna show you guys is there's a couple light wrinkles in here. Don't freak out if you get some of those. A little kick of your torch, flatten these right out. I'll give you guys a little sample here. All right, so you just wanna kind of move it a little fast. Kind of see them wiggling a little bit and after a few seconds those will flatten up and then you can come back over them with your little squeegee get them kind of pushed out so if you get like a, a pretty solid wrinkle in there like a rollover or anything that the adhesive connects with um, like a basically like a pinch uh, then you're pretty much gonna have to pull that out but these little light little wrinkles um, definitely can just uh, warm those up and they'll start to uh, essentially just shrink themselves out There you go, pretty much just pulling themselves out. Another little pro tip. All right guys, got it all trimmed out here. Looking pretty good. A couple other things like this, little big old I don't know what these are, like rivets under there. We're gonna stamp those down, poke some of that air out, then heat sink them, and then go around those really, really tight with uh, your little squeegee. There's a couple more right here. You know, this is a riveted John boat, so it's gonna have a bunch of these little rounded little rivet heads, stuff like that. Can't really see in here, but uh, what I did right here, where this thing cones in, 
I could have heated this up and stamped it down nice and tight, but for this design, it's so busy. I basically just put a little slice right there, overlapped it. We're gonna throw some of that clear edge sealer on there, lock that whole thing in. Um, ran a knife cut right along here under that little rounded ridge there. There's a little bit of a gap, like a little step right here. We're gonna knife that out too because you don't want any air pockets in your wrap at all because over time that's gonna collect moisture and get brittle and then it's gonna blow out on you. So just kinda ran my blade right along the edges here. We're gonna edge seal this whole thing up here. Same thing for back here. Put a little slit in there. You can't even see it. I hit it in there really nice. We're gonna make sure all this is nice and warmed up with the torch. Heat sink this whole thing. You wanna post heat this really, really well. Gets that glue nice and activated. And uh, another thing too here is, I had these fenders off a few days ago. I painted these black again. They are pretty oxidized. But you know, I could have taken this off, taken the wheel off had a little bit more access to getting under that boat right there, but I had so much clearance in there, I was able to get my hands in there, so not a big deal. All right, guys, time for some post heating. If you don't post heat, your wrap will definitely fall off. Just kidding, but no, for real, you gotta post heat, especially these deep channels right here, um, and I like to do all the edges and stuff like that. Um, kinda really don't need to post heat the flat panel parts, those kind of will just kind of sit down on their own but it's just good practice to go over things with a nice good lick of heat and you want to try to get that thing up to at least 150 degrees to uh make sure that kills the memory of the vinyl and completely bonds with that tape primer under there so post heat Also, when you're doing your post heating, if you see any little parts of your wrap that kind of want to bubble up a little bit, especially around these little rivet parts, um, that's a good time to give it a little bit extra heat and then go around it nice and gentle with uh, your thumb or the tip of your squeegee. And that'll get those parts nice and stuck down and get all that air completely squished out of there. All right, guys, last but not least, did all the post heating, got everything nice and hot, about 150 to 180 degrees with your torch, you get a little little IR, little digital thermometer. Um, that worked really good, but um, I've been doing this for such a long time that I just go over it with my torch and I pretty much know exactly how hot that is. Um, but this edge sealer here is what we're gonna do for the final, final step. And we're just gonna go along the entire outside perimeter and glob this sucker on really, really good. Um, you can get away with doing a, uh, like a caulking, like a silicone caulking along the top rail but along the bottom and the uh, the sides, you're definitely gonna wanna use this edge sealer here because this is what's gonna lock your wrap in and prevent it from peeling up. And then that's combined with the tape primer and that'll keep your wrap nice and stuck down on there and uh, keep that water from ripping your wrap off. Whew. All right guys, that pretty much sums up how to wrap a John boat. Now there's a ton a ton of stuff to know about wrapping in general so i know i pretty much uh, skimmed over a lot of the different steps but just generally that's how you do it so like i said before guys uh, if you do have any questions please let me know down in the box below and uh, i can get back to you guys and answer any of your comments um, if you guys are actually wanting to do this yourself just a couple key points just make sure you got all the right stuff first you know you're going to want some type of a heat gun some type of torch um, you're going to want the chemicals the, um, the tape primer and the edge sealer uh, also make sure you guys use a good vinyl preferably 3m or avery and uh, if you guys are uh, sourcing out a shop just uh, remember, uh, make sure you, those uh, those guys that are going to be doing the work for you know what they're doing. Look and see if they have any type of uh, wrapping certifications, and uh, just kind of look and see uh, you know what they've what they've done in the past. And just remember, uh, if it looks good on Instagram, it's not always the same case as how it looks in person. So, uh, other than that, guys, we're all settled up here with doing the wrap on the John boat. And I'm pretty much just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So if you guys have made it this far in a video, thanks for watching. 
And as always, guys, see you in the next one. See ya! Oh, and I almost forgot, guys. Uh, if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. And also consider hitting that subscribe button. And also, guys, a uh, big shout out to Raptor Rap and Sign in Rogers, Arkansas. Uh, make sure you guys go check them out at raptorrapandsign.com. And check them out on Instagram. They post uh, a lot of cool stuff here. This John boat's going to be on their social media. So uh, if you guys uh, want to check them out or want to order something from them, uh, I'll put a little link in the description box below. And uh, if you guys say like Raptor 10, uh, they'll do like a 10% off on uh, any other services. So if you guys want them to do some cool work for you, if you guys are in the area, drop in. If not, um, they ship uh, wraps out all across the nation. So check them out, guys. Raptor Wrap and Sign. Boom!